Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content and if you are back, welcome back you guys. <laughs> to say that I am excited for this unboxing is the biggest understatement I could possibly make. I cannot even tell you the noise that came out of my mouth when I saw that this kit was coming out and that this series of kits are coming out. You guys, you guys, by now, you know, you know, Diamond Art Club is releasing their first set of Marvel kits. Yes, you are hearing it right. Diamond Art Club has a licensing agreement with the one and only Marvel and I am not over it. I cannot get over it. I have somehow been trying to keep this news to myself for over a month now <laughs> because that's when I found out that this was the sneak peek that I was going to be getting for you guys. Um, I am just, I'm still on cloud nine and I'm, I'm filming this sneak peek a little bit early because I'm going to go ahead and work on this kit. And I just, I can't wait to share with you guys how this is going to look. I'm hoping that I'm going to finish it. Actually, I'm starting a little late. We'll see. I'm hoping I'm going to finish it. I also am going to have an extremely exciting, exciting, exciting announcement here at the end of the video um, about something that I'm getting to do in partnership with Diamond Art Club in celebration of this launch. So make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video. But now I really, I cannot help but show you guys what I have to share with you all today. If you haven't guessed from this, and I have, I'm even, I'm on theme here with my colors, but you guys, you guys, we have the one and only Loki. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Now look at all this special branding that we have. Marvel Avengers. Everything is official. You guys, it's been in the works for a long time much anticipated Diamond Art Club teased that this was coming in the Diamond Art Club VIP group quite a while back and it's finally here. I'm so excited. The title on this piece is Glorious Purpose because of course it is. And I just want to show you guys now uh, really quick. You rarely see my face just in general. That's not how my videos tend to be here. But I'm going to put a picture up on the screen that is a picture of my face, my reaction not staged, completely genuine. Like when I saw this kit, when this kit came in the mail, I just was this beyond thrilled and could not believe it. And I cannot believe that I get to unbox this kit that is of, is of like my favorite, 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 favorite character in the MCU or the Marvel Cinematic Universe or just Marvel movies in general. So I'm so freaking happy. Okay, we're gonna get into the sneak peek unboxing. Let me show you, take you on a little tour of all of the special branding that is on this box. I'm sure it's going to vary from Marvel kit to Marvel kit. Uh, I have several on my shopping list for this weekend, you guys. I'm so excited. So we have, of course, like the image itself decorating the outside of the box here at the top. And we have the official Marvel Avengers branding here. This kit's gonna have square diamonds. It's gonna be 22 by 28 inches or 55.8 by 70.7 centimeters. Side of the box here we have, oh my gosh. Please let this be foreshadowing of some of the characters we're gonna see on these kits. Uh, Toolkit's gonna come with your kit. On the back, more Marvel Avengers branding. <laughs> some info about how to diamond paint. Uh, your kit contents. And then on the side, you're going to get a look at there is that original artwork in all his glory. Oh my gosh. 59 colors, including three ABs. There's the skew. There's some more Marvel branding. You guys, a lot of these brands like Marvel are, you'll, you'll see in stolen artwork form, but Diamond Art Club has the, but Diamond Art Club has the official totally above board licensing on these kits. So I cannot wait. There are some other amazing ones that are releasing this weekend that I am stoked to see. So let's get into this box. Now, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking to make your very first purchase, if you'd like to save 20% off, I do have an affiliate discount code you're welcome to use. It is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Do not feel obligated. However, there will be some other discount codes that you'll see in this video, and there's others out there. So feel free to take advantage. Uh, you're going to get a tool kit with your diamond painting kit from Diamond Art Club. The bag is reusable and recyclable. And here are the kit contents of your tool kit. Take just a real quick look. So all your goodies here. Okay. 
So you're gonna get a pen and a squishy. The color on these are gonna vary. You're gonna get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You can just pop one of those into the end of your pen. You're also gonna get some wax here in this little caddy. Make sure that you peel off that thin plastic cover before you try to load up your pen with wax. I actually really like that wax. We've also got a tray along with a tray stopper here you can pop in. Helps keep those diamonds from sliding out. And you're gonna get some baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in if you like. And you're also gonna get a pair of tweezers as long as the kit you've gotten has square drills. They're quite pointy, so keep that cover on. And then we're also gonna get a cute little cover minder. So these actually have magnets on the back and if you slide the one off, put it under the area of the canvas that you're working on, set the canvas back down, peel back the plastic cover, set this part on top of that plastic cover that's peeled back. It'll hold back the plastic cover and look super adorable. You're also gonna get a roll of washi tape. The print will vary. I like to use washi tape around the border of my canvas. Because uh, sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field and I like to cover that up so that dirt or dust doesn't get in there. I also use washi tape to section off my canvas and I have a whole video dedicated to how I do that, where I demo it and everything. So feel free to take a look if you'd like to see that explained in a little bit more detail. Also included is going to be this smaller sticker that I will use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. Some people use these to help organize their stash or they'll do something else crafty with it. I like it because it has the original artwork and the info. This is by Marvel slash Loki TM Marvel logo. That is just so cool to see printed out, honestly. <laughs> like this is official. This is amazing. And it's, I'm so excited. Anyway, so everything else is gonna be in this branded plastic dust cover bag. You guys, I don't, <laughs> I am so, so, so excited. I can't believe I get to unroll this and take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Loki everything is what I need. So um, the, the canvas material itself, let me focus here, is super, super soft. Diamond Art Club has continued to further upgrade their canvases and I really love their canvas material as it is now. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am so <laughs> happy right now. <laughs> I cannot wait. I am so thrilled. This is the happiest I have been and the most excited I have been for an unboxing in forever. I, I'm so stoked. <laughs> okay, so now that I've had my moment, <laughs> let's take a look at what's included with your kit. So you're going to get um, a pamphlet that includes a thank you note from the founder and info about what's included. Here's a beginner video. I'll also link to one that I've done below in the description box. Uh, here is a link to their VIP Facebook group. Be sure you join that group once you've made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. It's a really good resource. Lots of fun behind the scenes stuff going on in there. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you as well as some tips and tricks another discount code and links to the mobile app on your respective devices. Really, really handy resource. Um, nice if you wanna sign up for push notifications and you do also get 20% off your first purchase through the app. You're also gonna get this is a larger sticker sheet. There's the title, Glorious Purpose, by Marvel slash Loki TM. Start and end date, spot to write those. There is a look at that glorious artwork. Yes, I'm just gonna keep using the word glorious because that is everything that is about this kit. Square shaped diamonds, here's the size and the skew. You guys over here, we've got a set of pre-cut stickers with all the different colors in this kit. We're gonna have a total of 59. And um, like I said, these are pre-cut for you. So if you wanna kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, that's gonna make that process really, really easy and go really quickly. The color code system you see over here is the same as the DMC color code system, which comes from the DMC brand of Floss. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll tell you more about those in just a bit, but we're gonna have a total of three of those in this kit. Gosh, every time I look at this artwork, I'm just like, oh, I am so excited to work on this and I cannot believe that these kits are coming out. We have a bag of drills here. We will take a closer look at those here in just a bit, but look at those colors, amazing. 
How's there not more green? Hold on a second. No. <laughs> Let's go on a little tour of the canvas itself. A lot of the elements, the all of the all the good stuff is still gonna be here with these Marvel kits. You're gonna have their branding at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas you can see they are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying whatsoever. The backing is that super, super soft material that they just keep upgrading, like I mentioned. And the material of the canvas itself to work on, it's really it's plush and it's kind of it's it's sturdy but it's malleable as well it's like my favorite kind of canvas to work on the glue that they use the adhesive is actually a poured glue it's very sticky it's really really nice to work with it's cushy it's also forgiving so if you place a diamond and you need to adjust it a little bit once it's down it tends to tolerate that pretty well and then hold the drills really well once they're down we're gonna have a legend up here at the top left, quite a large one, because we got 59 colors. And then the same legend over here at the bottom right. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to work on this kit. Here at the bottom left, we have the thumbnail and the size, the title, again, glorious purpose. Marvel, Loki, TM, Diamond Art Club, and then Marvel's branding here. You guys, everything is so official. Just seeing that logo even, I can't, I can't. Here we've got Diamond Art Club's socials. Be sure to follow them on Facebook and or Instagram so you can stay up to date with their new releases and whatnot. And then here's info about your lifetime, their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you run out of diamonds, if you run into any trouble with the glue or your canvas, anything at all, contact their customer service, they will get you taken care of. Taking a look at this canvas up close, you can see the drill field is really clear, not surprising. Um, their square drill fields have those really, really faint grid lines, which is a good thing because then you don't have to worry about seeing them around the diamonds at all. I love Diamond Art Club square drills and their square drill fields because they, they tend to sit really, really snugly. And when you've got like really high quality square diamonds like Diamond Art Club has, then that actually works out really well because they, they just sit perfectly. Uh, this kit's gonna have a mix of color blocking and confetti. Color blocking, a good example is here, like in, in the middle of the Tesseract here. Uh, this, this section, lots of the same color in a small area. You'll be able to use your multi-placer if you like and have a color in your tray for longer. That'll go a little bit faster. Uh, by contrast, if we look at Loki's glorious face here, we've got a little bit more in the way of confetti. Confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area. You'll be mostly single placing and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. Of course, his iconic helmet, and then some background with some more color blocking up there as well. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't say it enough. And you guys, I, it's not hyperbole. It is truly, truly, truly every bit the sincere, genuine reaction that I'm having to this kit. Oh my gosh. So let's do a quick measurement. We're at almost 71 centimeters top to bottom, which we're listed as 70.7. So I'm gonna call that true to size that way. And then if we go this way, accidentally flipped to inches. <laughs> either, either is fine, but centimeters is what I'm used to reading diamond paintings in. Uh, we're at almost 56 centimeters left to right, which we're listed as 55.8. So hey, we are true to size both directions, not shocking. All right, you guys, let's take a look at these diamonds together real quick. There's a sticker on the package. So if you store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in, super easy to match them up again later. There's that glorious color spread. Still not over it. <laughs> so let's take a look. Here we've got some dark blues to start us off. Now look at that sparkle. You see that sparkle right out the gate, you guys. Diamond Art Club is always looking at upgrading their, their drills. And okay, hold on just a second. Here's our first AB diamond. I'll get back to that point, I promise. So this is the first of those special diamonds I was telling you about. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights. And just like the Northern Lights have a gorgeous shimmery color shift effect, so too do the diamonds. Uh, the, co the, the coating on these diamonds. So um, this is number 139, it's a gray AB. The areas that these have been charted, it's gonna dry your eye to those areas and highlight those areas and just be even more sparkly than regular diamonds are. So I will be sure to point out to you where each of those ABs are gonna go when we're looking at the canvas after we're done with the drills. 931, let's see, one, two, three, Four bags of 310, a black black color diamond. 
some more blues. A lot of blues in this kit, given that Loki's signature colors are green and gold, but there's some of that goldish brown color. <laughs> so I was saying the Diamond Art Club um, is regularly trying to upgrade and improve various components, various facets of their kits. Facets, another pun. <laughs> so something that they've been doing recently is making their square diamonds even more faceted than they were before. They used to be all 13 facets and now they have even more than that. I'll pop a picture up on the screen for you guys so you can see, but they're so sparkly. I just finished a kit that had them and it's an amazing finished effect. Here we've got our second AB 141. It's a gorgeous white AB. You'll see this AB color in particular in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits because it's a nice, nice standby, but it looks amazing. Some more blues, there's another gold for us. Here we go, here we got a nice green. Some more grays, there's some more golds. Shades of greens and blues. Diamond Art Club Square Drills are really lovely quality. They tend to be really uniform in size and shape. So I don't find myself having to pick around a lot of trash diamonds, like unusable diamonds or diamonds with tabs sticking off the side or concave bases or bottoms. They're just really enjoyable to work with, like really reliable and consistent drills for sure. They do put their diamonds roughly in order of weight in these strands. So we started with those bigger bags. Now we're kind of working our way through the colors that there's just smaller handfuls of. I have only run out of uh, a color once or twice on a Diamond Art Club kit. And I usually just contact the customer service and hear back from them like within minutes and then they've got them in the mail to me, the replacements. So here's this one last strand that has just four colors in it, including our third and final AB 129. It's a nice buttery yellow AB. I like the sparkle on those, so good. And then another gray and green. <laughs> so let's look at this canvas together and find where we're gonna, where we're gonna see those different ABs. So right off the bat, if we start here at the bottom, um, I am seeing quite a bit of the gray AB, the lighter gray color you're seeing here. Gray AB, gray AB, gray AB. It's, it's doing some highlighting. Is this like fog? Let me get a closer look at that image again. Yeah, yeah. So the lightest gray kind of in this like fog or mist is a gray AB. It's over here, it's over here. Um, a little, just a little bit highlighting I see in here and here. And then I see the pale yellow AB is the lightest yellow you're seeing right here. And then there's a line of white AB right here. Uh, a couple of white AB and pale yellow ABs right here. A bunch of pale yellow here. And uh, white and pale yellow ABs here. Ooh, actually over here as well all along here and outlining around Loki's hand. And going up here, there's a line of white ABs that's gonna make that really pop. There's a little bit of white and yellow ABs here and here. And then, what's the other, what was, oh, gray. Gray, I was like white, yellow, and what other color? Gray ABs here in this fog. And then, White ABs doing a little bit of highlighting here around his armor, pale yellow and white ABs here where that, imagine where like the light is glinting off of the metal in his armor, the gold of his armor. And then as we keep moving up, let's see, if we go over here into the staff, there's a line of gray ABs on this side and white ABs all along here white ABs here and then the whole center here where I was pointing out that color blocking that's all white AB there's a bunch of white AB here of course we want this scepter this infinity center to really stand out yellow ABs right here a big chunk of them right here as well and then I'm just checking to see I'm not missing any there's a little sprinkle of white ABs down here and then as we get up into like Loki's helmet, I was hoping we'd have some ABs here too, a whole line of white ABs, again, where that light is really glinting off of that helmet, those horns is where that's gonna be. White ABs, white and pale yellow ABs right here, and the same up here again. A single white AB in each eye, <laughs> and uh, a little bit of white ABs doing a little bit of highlighting on the metal in his helmet again. <gasps> you guys, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> I am so excited. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to 
kit this up because I have got to work on this and I am so stoked that I'm gonna get to show you what this is gonna look like with some drills down. Uh, so I will be right back with a look at what this canvas looks like with some diamonds down and a super important and exciting announcement that Diamond Art Club and I have to share with you guys about something that's coming up very soon that I know you're gonna to wanna to be a part of. So I will be right back. You guys, I am back and somehow I have an absolutely epic dare I say, marvelous or glorious review and reveal for you guys. Are you ready? He's done, you guys. Our resident god of mischief is complete. And I am so, 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 so happy. And I'm thrilled I get to share with you guys how this looks totally completed. So um, it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed that unboxing and there was even a date change in this release at one point. So I'm gonna have to go back and try to try to fix that in that earlier unboxing. But I am just thrilled that I was able to finish this up for you guys. Now, I swear that I am not exaggerating whatsoever when I say that I actually loved and adored every single moment of working on this kit because it was just an unbelievable treat. An unbelievable treat to get to work on one of these new Marvel kits. And we're getting some glare from the lights because these drills are so incredibly shiny. So that's why I'm kind of trying to move it so you see the true colors beneath that's going on, like these deep greens and everything. Um, I like, I just, I was so incredibly happy. So incredibly happy. This canvas actually has a lot of blues in it, given that like Loki's uh, characteristic colors are green and gold. There was a ton, a ton, a ton of blue in this kit. Um, but it, it had some color blocking in some areas, particularly like these sections way up at the top where it was a lot of like the same color. There's some shading going on in there, but it's not bad. Um, there was some confetti in some areas, like some of the details, like the speckling in the sky and of course some of the details in Loki himself. Um, but uh, it, it just was really enjoyable and wasn't particularly like long to work up at all. It was just... <laughs> I loved it. I just loved it. Like, I'm not even kidding you when I say I'm thinking of buying um, a kit at release time just so I can have one kind of in my back pocket to work on again if I'm like, I just need to work on this character one more time because it's just my favorite, favorite, favorite thing ever for my favorite, favorite Marvel character ever. Now, I did make a, a, a really important set of changes that I want to note because I don't want you to look at this and think that this is how your, your kit is going to look if you just buy it as is from Diamond Art Club. And that is the Mind Stone up here in Loki Scepter. I actually swapped out all these colors for crystals. Um, I went a little crazy and ordered a ton of blue crystals in a million different shades from DP with sparklers. Um, and because some of them, there were exact DMC swaps available, like uh, I think 995 and or, and or 996 were both colors that were charted in here, but I got multiples. Um, and then what I did, in case you're curious, I did make notes of like, okay, in that Mind Stone, these were the swaps that I made. If it was charted this DMC, I swapped for this and, and so on and so forth. So that way I could reference it if I needed to. But I just thought like, it's the Mind Stone, like it's literally glowing in the original artwork. This would be so fun to swap out for crystals. Now, the way that it's charted is that there's a bunch of white ABs in this section right here. Let me show you the original artwork too. Um, <clears throat> Uh, is there's tons of white ABs in here, but then the blue colors all around it are just regular non-special drills. And I just thought, I think it would be really cool as a, as a set of crystals. <laughs> so like I said, just went right on over to DPO Sparklers, ordered a bunch of square crystals because this is a square drill kit and did those swaps. And I actually really love how it turned out. And honestly, you guys, that speaks to how much I really loved this kit. I, if you've been around my channel for very long, you'll know that like, I am not one, like I almost never really um, do special drill swaps in my kits, but I was just so excited to do it in this kit that it was just so much fun. I loved, 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 loved working on this kit and it just made me so happy. The quality is was really there, like the drills were a nice quality, the canvas was great, the drill field was clear. The rendering was amazing. Ooh, I did another set of crystal swaps as well. If we look in Loki's eyes, because in this in this context, in this movie, he's under the control of the Mind Stone himself. Yes, I'm a nerd, what can I say? So the blue in his eyes, I swapped for blue crystals because I thought, well, they should match. 
the blue crystals of the Mind Stone. So anyway, I'm a nerd and I, I am not, I'm not sad about it. <laughs> so you guys, this is Glorious Purpose. Uh, this is releasing tomorrow. And um, along with that, I wanna let you guys know about a really exciting announcement. I shared about it uh, earlier in the Diamond Art Club VIP group, and I wanna mention it here as well. So I am partnering with Diamond Art Club in celebration of this amazing collab and partnership that's launching with Marvel and, and Diamond Art Club. And Diamond Art Club and I are putting together a, we're putting on a marvelous May, as in Marvel, us, May <laughs> diamond painting event. And so they're gonna be weekly videos here on my channel. Diamond Art Club is going amazingly overboard with prizes. I'm gonna have tons of giveaways to do with you guys each week. I am putting together some hopefully really fun content, like maybe like a Marvel trivia night and like, you know, favorite Marvel movies. Like we'll, we'll come up with some really fun stuff to talk about. So if Marvel is your jam and you know you're gonna to wanna to work on one of these kits, Feel free to pick one up in this release and join us for the Marvelous May event. It's gonna start on May 1st and on May 31st. I will have more details for you soon about how exactly to enter once that begins. It's gonna be like relatively laid back in the sense that I'm not requiring a new start or a finish. It's just get one of these new Diamond Art Club Marvel release kits and work on one of them during the month of May. So stay tuned for more details about that. I am beyond excited that Diamond Art Club um, said that they would partner with me to put this on. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Diamond Art Club for that. And of course, thank you, Diamond Art Club for this amazing partnership with Marvel to bring these kits to us. I It's currently Monday and I've been watching the previews, like the first round of previews go up today. And it has been like the neatest thing ever to see the excitement about these kits. I love it. And I feel like there's no kind of enthusiasm like nerds getting enthusiastic and excited. And we're seeing it, we're seeing it here. So anyway, I hope that this helps to get to see what this looks like completed. And I was excited to share with you about the event. Um, Marvelous May, like I said, stay tuned for more details. Um, I, I'm gonna go back and try to correct this earlier in the video, but just in case I misspoke, and just to reiterate, um, this release date did get changed from what it was originally scheduled as, and rather than being a weekend release like I had previously mentioned, this is actually coming out tomorrow, which is Wednesday, April 5th, and it's gonna be just a general release time for everyone, which I believe is 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern time. Uh, so set your alarms. We don't know which ones are gonna be limited edition. My hope is that very few will be. Um, and I, I hope that you guys are able to snag whatever Marvel kits you like. Uh, and of course, stay tuned today if you're watching this today that it goes up. There are gonna be more previews coming out today and more sneak peeks from my fellow creators. So can't wait, so excited. What do you guys think? Is this on your shopping list for the weekend? Is the God of Mischief gonna be in your cart? Um, not the weekend, on Wednesday, is the God of Mischief gonna hop into your shopping cart? He should, he's fan-freaking-tastic. <laughs> and the rendering team at Diamond Art Club just knocking it out of the park as per usual. So um, best of luck to you if you're shopping. Thanks for watching and thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this kit over. I am just, I'm gonna sit here on cloud nine for the foreseeable future because this is easily one of my favorite diamond painting kits that I've ever, 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 ever had the chance to work on. It's probably like in my top two. I don't know if it gets my top spot, but it's really up there and I've completed over a hundred kits. So I, I'm not exaggerating. Um, Anyway, letting you guys go, be sure to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with all things Marvelous May and other diamond painting content. Hit that like button on your way out and leave your thoughts below on if you've got any of these Marvel kits on your shopping list for tomorrow. Best of luck to you all, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.